In this video, I will talk you through how to set up your new Telstra Business Smart modem and connect to your NBN service. This video focuses specifically on NBN Fibre to the Curb, or FTTC for short. If you have another connection type, please select the video that relates to that one. This setup process itself will take around half an hour, and the transitioning of your fixed services to the NBN can take up to one hour. So, it's a good idea to make sure you have another way to contact or be contacted if the need arises. A charged mobile should do the trick. Before we get started, have your Telstra Business Smart Modem NBN connection box and any cables that came with each ready to go. But be sure to take the time to read any information that came with those devices, especially the incompatible devices section of your quick start guide. Decide on where your connection box and modem will live. You'll want to make sure this isn't inside a cabinet or behind any large objects to ensure you get the best Wi-Fi signal throughout your premises. You'll also need to have two power outlets and a telephone wall socket nearby. Once you've settled on a spot, unplug any and all devices connected to telephone ports around your premises. Now we're ready to begin. Let's start with your NBN connection box. Retrieve the NBN connection box from its packaging. Find the cable with grey ends. Plug one end into the back of the NBN connection box and the other into the wall socket. Next, take the black power adapter and plug this into the back of the connection box. Plug the other end into a nearby power outlet and switch it on. Your NBN connection box will now start up. This may take up to 15 minutes and it's important that you don't turn the NBN connection box back off during this time. If after 15 minutes you don't have solid blue lights on the front panel, try a different wall socket. Now it's time for your Telstra Business Smart Modem. Retrieve that from its box and locate the cord with one yellow end and one red end. Take that yellow end of the cord and plug it into the yellow port on the NBN connection box. And plug the red end into the red port on the modem. It's also important to plug the 4GX USB Pro into the side or the back of the Telstra Business Smart Modem. In the unlikely case of a fault, it will automatically activate and ensure you stay connected to the internet via the Telstra mobile network. Plug the black power adapter into the back of the Telstra Business Smart Modem and then plug the other end into a nearby power outlet and switch it on. The Telstra Business Smart Modem is now going to start up. The internet LED light on the front of the Telstra Business Smart Modem will flash orange while connecting and show solid blue once connected to the network. If the modem is connected to Telstra's mobile network as a backup, the light will flash red. This startup and connection process will usually take around 15 minutes, but can take up to half an hour in some instances. Once the internet LED light on the front settles on blue, you're ready to connect to the internet. Even if you don't need to use your service right away, it's important to leave that all set up as we will need to run a few tests on your newly connected service just to make sure everything is working properly. But if you do want to get into it right away, you don't need to wait. We'll run those tests in the background so you can feel free to start connecting your devices to your Telstra Business Smart Modem. To connect to your modem via Wi-Fi, locate the Wi-Fi card that came in the box with your Telstra Business Smart Modem. This will have the login details you need. To connect to your modem via Ethernet, grab the LAN cable. That's the one with two yellow ends. Plug one end into any yellow port on the Telstra Business Smart Modem and the other into your device's network port. If you want to plug your phone, FPOS or fax machine in also, take the grey cable which came with that device and repeat the Ethernet cable steps, plugging it into the green phone port this time. And remember, your modem and NBN connection box will need to be switched on to make and receive calls. If your modem is having trouble connecting to the NBN network, try turning it off, waiting a minute and turning it back on again. And we're done. It's as easy as that. 
But if you do have any other questions or just want some advice about getting the most out of your internet service, head to telstra.com.au forward slash small business and check out our online help center.